everybody, Android Truly here, back again. Today I want to show you guys 5 browsers that you probably haven't heard of, but that are definitely worth checking out. I will be ranking these browsers by two main factors. The quantity and the quality of their features, and their loading time for one specific website that I'll be testing, which is TheVerge.com. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number 5 on my list is Orbot and Orfox. I included both of these applications in one spot because in order for one of them to work, you have to download the other. The main benefits of both of these apps is 1. Privacy and 2. Access to the deep web. Orbot sends all of your traffic through a proxy, which basically means it goes through many different computers around the world. And that means you can't be traced neither by the NSA nor by your employer or people like that. Or, or Fox is the browser that lets you actually surf the web through the, pro the proxy that Orbot creates, which is pretty good. And uh, this, is, this is also the only browser that, that lets you surf the deep web. The main drawbacks of these two applications is that because they actually send your traffic through many different uh, servers, that means it gets slowed down, <clears throat> so the speeds are not very good. And in addition, I, I couldn't actually get this to work. As you can see, I have uh, Orbot running, but Orfox doesn't actually do anything. I can't load a web page. However, this is probably just because of the Samsung Galaxy S5 phone that I have, which limits the functionality of Orbot. Number 4 on my list is CM Browser. CM Browser has a 4.6 rating in the Google Play Store, the highest rating of all the apps I tested. The main features of this app is it's secure. It has antivirus protection, it has fraud protection, and it has download protection. It is also very small at around less than 3 megabytes. However, it didn't perform very well in the speed test as it had one of the had one of the slower tests, slower times for the Verge at around 5.28 seconds. However, it made up for this test by different other features that it had, including a page translator, a night mode, and a few others. As a result, it places number four on my list. Number three on my list is Apus Browser. Apus Browser is the simplest browser on my list right now. It has an elegant design, it's very lightweight at, at less than three megabytes, and it's pretty fast. On my The Verge test, it got around a 4.8 seconds, which was, which was pretty average. In addition, it has a couple of features including adblock, specific video streamer, and stuff like night mode. As because of its simplicity and elegant design, I, it deserves my number three spot. Number two on my list is UC Browser. UC Browser is a pretty fast browser, I would say. On my The Verge test, it loaded in 4.62 seconds, the second fastest time out of all the apps. In addition, it has a couple of features which I really much enjoy. Number one, it has Adblock, just like the, uh, the Apus browser. You can find it right here. In addition, it just, it's just fast all around. It has stable downloads and it has online videos without waiting because of its lightweight and programming. However, there are a few drawbacks. Number one, it creates toolbars at the top of your notification bar, which you have to disable, and which are really annoying. But it does not change it from, from being my number two on this list. Finally, 
Now my number one app, my favorite new browser is Maxton. Although I am lying by saying that it's new, it's been around for a couple of years, I still think it is much better than a few regular browsers most people use like Firefox for Android. It has a couple of things going for it. Number one, it is the fastest browser that I could find. It loaded The Verge in 3.32 seconds, knocking out every single other browser that I tested. In addition, it has the actual Adblock Plus inside of it. Let me see if I can pull it up over here. As you can see, Adblock Plus, this isn't regular Adblock native browser, it's the one that you have come to know and love on y your PC or Mac or whatever. In addition, it has one app that I very, very much enjoy. It's called Cloud Push. For example, if you want to send a web page to your computer, you can click over here and you can click Cloud Push and it'll send it right to your computer. I think that's absolutely amazing and should be implemented in many browsers. Outside of that, it has a very nice interface and I don't see anything wrong with it. So that is why it is my number one on the list of browsers that you probably haven't heard of.